So schools can become community schools um, in a number of different ways. Um, in some places, it's um, through policy, uh, community members and elected officials as well as teachers might come together to create a school board policy. In other places, it's just happening, right? A principal and teachers and families come together and say, "This is we know that this is what we need to do for our students and families, um, is bring, bring partners that um, address the needs and offer those opportunities that have been identified. And so um, it could be very um, codified Right, so in Houston and New York and McDowell County and Duluth, um, it's it's been very intentional. In some places, um, it's just grassroots. At the moment, there is no national policy um, that's saying, uh, you know, in order to become a community school, you need to do X, Y, and Z, and then you'll be identified as such. Um, the national movement, there are some standards um, that we identify as being important for having high quality community schools and high quality meaning, you know, you're able to increase family engagement, decrease chronic absenteeism, in, um, and decrease um, discipline referrals, for example, right? Some of the basic um, data points. Um, and so while we encourage folks to strive towards these standards, um, the key component um, is that site coordinator, whether they're part-time or full-time, because in many cases we know in rural communities, um, the, just because of a decreasing populations, you often don't have people who can commit to full-time, or and sometimes there's just not the resources to pay someone for a full-time position um, in a rural community. And so it becomes very dependent on the resources available. But if you think back, over 100 years ago, um, John Dewey and Jane Addams, they were doing community schools, right? Um, they, in rural communities, a school was the center of the community and of the democracy. And so it just, we want to go back to that, where there is a community embracing themselves around the students and families um, who need them the most.